Hey, yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy, G20 King Sarcasm. Y'all already know what it is, man. And welcome back. I am a Stanley Cup champion, motherfuckers. Look at that. I am, excuse you, Washington Capitals. What are you talking about? This game is on some foo, -foo shit, yo. This game is on some, mm-mm, mm-mm. That shit better update. That shit better update. Oh, you've made us very proud. Yep, all right, very proud. So we won the cup. Are we going to... Okay, okay, here it is. Here is the trophies, y'all. This is why I'm not starting at the uh, the start of the season because we wanted to get the whole experience here of um, uh, of the, the whole NHL awards. So we have won the Hart Memorial Trophy. Let's get it. Okay, no surprise there. Absolutely no surprise there. Okay, this is probably the big one here. Actually, no, it is not. It is the Lady Bink Trophy, and I was just nominated, so I mean... Fuck that trophy. I do not care about that trophy. This is the big one right here. And fuck yes! We won the Frank... Excuse me. We won the Frank J. Salki trophy finally. After five years, they finally gave it to you, boy. That's what I like to see, man. And that is all the awards. Buffalo Sabres with the Stanley Cup. The Griffins actually with the Memorial Cup. Uh, is that the Memorial Cup? Is that what it's called? No, that's not called the Memorial Cup. It's called the Cup. That's what it's called. Uh, that's the AHL championship, and the Griffins, pretty sure they are the, uh, the um, uh, Detroit Red Wings affiliate. So, good stuff for the Detroit Red Wings. Now, it doesn't, there you go, it updated where the Stanley Cup champions. Now, gets to the tough part. We are going to free agency. Now, we don't get to participate in no re-sign stage because the game is bullshit, but it's okay, though. July 1st, let's get this shit popping. Let's, we are probably going to sign, we are going to sign with the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, yeah, definitely not signing with the Florida Panthers. And uh, are you, uh, excuse me? I just won the heart, the Conn Smythe, and oh my goodness, I am so sorry. I just won the heart, the Conn Smythe, and the Selkie in the same freaking year. And you are giving me 11.4. Okay, I'll, I'll give it 11.5. Really? Really? Now, you always get two years. That's just a thing that happens. You don't get any longer contracts because they don't want people to be locked in a team that they don't like. I think that's the 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 reason why you always only get a two-year contract, but whatever. 11.4. Whatever, dog. Whatever, dog. The storyline is just going to be that I, I took a huge hometown discount because I ain't no fucking way I am not making 12. I'm sorry. I ain't no fucking way. I know it's only like half a million, but ain't no way. I am under 12 mil. I mean, fuck. Connor over there making 11 point, uh, 12.25. Is that his cap hit? I think Connor's making 12.25. I feel like I should be at 12, you know? Considering I have outperformed the, the, the hell out of him every single time. But whatever, man. Whatever. It is It is what it is. XP, um, whatever the skill points. I don't care about that right now. So that means we are now a 94 overall because you get one of those skill points every every uh every time you go up one in overall and then you get two skill points i believe when you when you hit a milestone every five every five overall like 80 85 90 95 y'all already know what it is obviously we're not going to get one for 100 because that's not a thing it stops at 99 i don't even know if um i'm not even sure if i had a character this year to go up to 99 but i'm sure it's possible especially this one because we're playing it a lot but I'm excited to see what the roster looks like, man, because we have a lot of decisions to make. Well, I don't. I don't. The team has a lot of decisions to make because there's a lot of people on expiring deals. Now, we are going to go ahead and simulate the preseason because don't nobody care about that. And then we're going to go to the season opener here. It is going to be against the Montreal Canadiens. Whatever, man. Let's go. Let's go. Stay at the team. I know. I know. So here we go. The, the preseason, whatever. This is what happens for any one of you that care. Uh, the rest of us, we don't really care. So go ahead and pause the video if you want to see what happened. But let's go, man. It is showtime. Oh, wait. Okay, no, we're still an alternate captain. We're not going to get a full captaincy, which is bullshit. But whatever. Whatever, man. I'm not that mad about it. Let's see here. First line on my left is going to be Jonathan Goudreau. That is good. He's a 92 overall now. That's good shit. He is on... He is at 30 now. How long is his contract still? Three years at 9.4. Ah, that shouldn't come back to bite us too much. Your boy out here getting uh, two-year contracts, whatever. 94. And on my right is going to be 87 overall Peyton Krabs this year. Good shit. So we're going to be looking for an improvement in his point totals. 
he had 62 points last year. You know what? That's still not a bad um that not a bad season at all, man. 62 points. That's a that's a less goal scoring Jordan Eberle esque type of season. So not even mad at it. And Peyton Krebs signed a four year extension worth 5.4 million dollars per year. You know what? If if he ends up being like an 89 overall for the last two years of that contract, that is going to be a very good deal. Let's go. Casey Middlestad is going to be second line left winger at an 87 overall. He is going to be huge, man. 65 points for him. So Jack Eichel is going to get a solid, very solid winger right there in Casey Middlestad. That's going to be a nasty one-two punch. Hopefully, Jack Eichel can have um, can have an even bigger impact. Okay, 70-point guy last season. Not too bad at all. 26 goals. We'd like to see him push 30 this year. And Alexander Nylander is just... A the, the definition of disappointment out here. He signed a three-year contract worth 2.5. He's only at 82 overall, though. Jack Eichel is still making 10 for two years. And Middlestad ooh, is making five for one year. He's going to need a payday after this one. Now let's get to the third line left winger. Kylock Postal has not retired. Are you kidding me? Wow. 35-year-old Kylock Postal is still out here. He has 3.2 million Oh, well, due to him, he is now a power forward. Wow. Okay. Whatever, man. He's on the third line, so he's going to be good depth scoring. What did he accomplish last season? He had 47 points. Very good. Damn near 20 goals score. If he would have been on my line a little bit longer, he would have hit 20 goals. No doubt about it. Tage Thompson. Ah, I would like a better player than that on the third line center spot, but whatever, it is what it is. And on the right winger, he's going to be Jacob Silverberg. So that's pretty good, man, or Jakob Silverberg, whatever. Oh, only 23 points for him last season. Hmm, not too great. He's making 2.3. Still not too bad of a contract for a third line winger. You'd like to see that down a little bit because our defense is sick, but whatever. Michael Furland is going to be on the fourth line. Not a bad fourth line player right there. Austin Watson. Good. I'm actually okay with that. That is very good. And Kyle Paul Mary is going to be on the fourth line and possibly going to be killing penalties as well. Now let's see our defense pairings. On the first pair, it is going to be Morgan Riley, the man rocket at 91 overall. Good shit. That was his contract right there. He's going to be paired up with your boy. Rasmus Dahlin, who clinched the Stanley Cup with an empty net goal last season, so that's good for him. Rasmus signed an eight-year contract worth $6 million even, almost. 6.015. That is good. That is a good contract. The Sabres general manager here doing a good job. I, I'm, I'm solid with that. By the end of that contract, he could possibly be a 91 or 92, man. That's... That's perfect. That is perfect with me. P.K. Subban is going to be on the second pair. He's dropped to an 82. Woof. P.K. Subban drops off fast in this game. Yikers, boys. He is still making 5.1 mil for three years. At the rate that he's dropping, that might not be a good contract at all by the end of that. But that is neither here nor there. Raphael Summers is an 88 overall. <laughs> That brings up the second pairing quite a bit. 88 overall. Let's go. Offensive defenseman signed a five-year deal at 5.4. He probably signed a, a shorter deal to keep his number down because he is fucking awesome. Let's go, man. Good stuff by the general manager managing to fit everyone in. Ben Hutton still at an 81 on the third pair. 2.3 mil. That is good. And Alex Petrovic is out here also making 2.4 Okay, well, that's a good third pair. I'm not even mad at that. Let's look at our scratches. We are going to have Nicola Dan... Nicol... Nicola... Nicholas, actually. It's Nicholas Danielson. He's a defensive prospect. Why is he scratched? Hmm. He better be splitting... He better be splitting starts with, um... One of the third-line pairing guys. Because you do not want to sit a prospect... A top-four prospect... Uh, this in the NHL. You don't want to do that. Trevor T uh, Van Riemsdyk is still out here, so good for him. And we also have Matt Benning. So we don't have any forward scratches. They are all defensemen. And what about goaltending? This is the big one right here. Oh, fuck. Please tell me our backup is starting, and that is why Dylan Ferguson is out here. E, who's the other guy? Okay, Cam Talbot. So basically the same the same goaltenders as last year. Great. That's fantastic. Um I mean whatever, Cam Talbot is a Stanley Cup champion now, but let's whew, 
I don't know about that one, Chief. I really don't know. Oh, 918 save percentage. You know what? That is not even that bad. Okay. He's a 79 now, though. He's not an 80. I think he was either 80 or 81 when we signed him last year. How long is his contract? Okay. It's expiring at 1.6. And Ferguson is... Yo, we could not spend, like, another mil and a half on our goaltending? For real? All right. I don't know, man. I don't know. But, as is tradition, we are going to play the full first game the full opening night here and it's going to be against the montreal canadians let's do this all right let's go man against the montreal canadians at the bell center is going to be opening night i uh, i suspect they still have carry price which means it could be a tough start yeah they're actually starting our backup here dylan ferguson is going to be in net okay i mean what at 924 and a, yo he has some numbers on him though and steve mason is going to start for montreal that's an awkward Oof, I hope Steve Mason is not the permanent starter for Montreal. That would be awful. But, I mean, it is what it is. Let's go. Opening night. It is showtime, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, we are winning the faceoff off the bat. Wow, this crowd is loud today. Holy shit, we're going to drive the net right off the bat. And a nice save by Mason. I thought I was going to get a goal right off the bat. And quiet down this crowd here quickly. It's uh, it's a loud-ass crowd, man. Opening night, they are, they are energized for this one. Okay, let's go. Uh, yeah, yeet. Oh, no, that's not where I wanted. I wanted our right winger to get it. Okay, Johnny Gaudreau's out here. We're going to be looking to get him a lot of goals this season. Yo, rebounds. Rebounds. Okay. I had 48 goals and 61 assists last season for 109 points, which uh, I'm okay with. I would just like to have a little bit more assists, That basically. The, the goals were fine. I'd like more assists. And if I have to sacrifice a few goals, be like maybe around 40 goals, to have 70 75 assists i would be okay with that that would be my that would be my preferred technique actually my preferred spread here as we are a playmaker but like i said man last season was not a bad season at all so we're just gonna have to see here what happens boom we're gonna go back at the point let's go boys let's go oh nice play can we get it right off we cannot we absolutely cannot all right get it up to behind the net that, that works gonna go behind gonna use the boards to make sure that we don't lose it oh yes what a pass nice opportunity good drive to the net and johnny gaudreau is gonna get his first of the season number 15 with number one and that's our first assist first primary assist we're off to a good start here in buffalo 17 actually almost 18 minutes left in the first what a start that's what we want man we want gaudreau to get a lot of goals with your boy getting a lot of assists, man, because that is the dynamic duo that we have created here in Buffalo, and we like it that way, man. We are fine with it that way. Into the corner it goes. I'm going to get the puck. Going to skate it up the ice just a little bit, get some speed going. Uh, Payton, that was fucking awful. Let's go. Another power play. Let's get the power play unit off to a good start. Already have one goal today. Let's make it two for two. Let's have a good early power play here. Boom. Going to win the face off. Back to the point it goes from Johnny Gaudreau. Your boy, I'm going to wait for Gaudreau to be out here in the high slot area. He's going to pass it to me. Shield the puck away from him. Shield the puck away from him. Oh, that was back to Eichel, bro. If I got a clean pass off, that was going to be very dangerous. Let's go. Nice passing plays. Nice passing plays. Going to shield the puck. Go behind the net. Going to pass it across the ice. That was awful. That was a bad decision. I am so sorry. Yeah, can we? Thank you. Thank you a lot. Boom, spin past the Krebs, and he's going to be stopped by Mason. Yajit back at the point, as I said. Uh, going to go low for rebounds. Eichel, he can't put it home. He couldn't control it on time. Man, Jack, you got to, you really got to get your shit together, Jack. Let's go. Going to go around the net. Try to get some puck and player movement. That's what we need out here. Back down low. I'm going to get it back again. They really want me to handle this power play. I feel like Mitch Marner out here. It is me or it's not happening. Let's go at the point. It's going to be a shot with a little bit of uh, traffic out in front. Brought to you by your boy. And it's not going to work. Montreal's going to clear it. Solid power play, though. We're moving the puck. We're not driving the net as often as I want, uh, as I would like to. But, oh, shit. We're going to go around the, the outside with a little bit of speed. And I passed it too late. And that is the end of the first period. One to nothing. Why are there so many empty seats at the Bell Center? Did y'all see that? Wow. Holy shit, that might be why they're getting outshot 18 to 4. Good lord. Holy moly, that's interesting, bro. That is one. Wow. 
that wolf okay whoa that is one hell of a period they did have three penalty kills but i mean still that's a that's a pretty big margin of shots here back to the middle of the ice okay that's actually a good play by krebs right there he could have had a weak uh, low scoring opportunity shot but he decided you know what we're gonna pass it back at the point because he has a ton of ice to work with let's go back at the point oh could not intercept that gonna give the shot to ferguson who's gonna need to be big this season because talbot only a 79 we cannot overplay him yo it has been a solid freaking week for music though guys like damn i've been i've been all over just just oh god just listening to music because like a lot of my favorite artists drop some shit lately man we're gonna go with a fake slap shot no we're not apparently we're just gonna leave it right there that was my fault oh no what an awful play okay early in the season stanley cup hangover we're fine that was just oof. that was an absolutely oh my god why would you give me that puck back at the point let's go let's go Whoa. oh hey that's gonna be a tip all right let's go first goal of the season two nothing one goal, one assist in the first game, and uh, we're just going to get another MVP trophy out here. That's fine. Look at that. I'm just trying to screen the goaltender out here, but apparently I got my stick on it. It's going to count. It's going to be a goal. Two, nothing. Buffalo, just like that. Now I would like it if we would have a little bit of depth scoring. That would be that would be nice, man, if we could have a little bit of depth scoring. Let's go, boom. Win in the face off. But yeah, man, it's been a huge week for music. We had Joyner Lucas dropping some shit, and it was fire. We had Logic dropping some shit. It, he made, Logic made a song with Eminem. That is, oh man, I've been waiting for that collaboration for a hot ass minute. Who else dropping? Tech Nine dropped some music. I was like, yo, what the fuck is this? He dropped a video, dropped a song, like, bro. It is real right now. It's the summer. The summer is going. It is rolling now because we got some new, you know, summer music, summer tunes to jam out to. That's some good shit, man. I like that. Yo, back at the point. Let's go. No, absolutely not. Um, mm -mm. I am here. I am here. Now. Boom. Big body checks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, bad pass. That's going to be two quick shots. Ferguson is having a decent game so far. Not even going to lie. He hasn't had to make a whole lot of danger. Actually, I cost him. Uh, I cost us a breakaway opportunity against, and um, he stopped it. So good shit by Ferguson here. Another one. That's gonna be gloved the way he can't catch it, but you know what? He stopped it, and that's all that matters. Phil Kessel is out here, gonna try to give him uh, zero space, hopefully, because that is Phil Kessel, and his wrist shot is deadly. There you go. We're gonna stop that. We do not want him to get a wrist shot off. Oh shit! Another save by Ferguson. Okay. All right, and that's the end of the second period. Still a whole lot of empty seats in Montreal, but we are fine with it. We are fine with it. Look at the shots now. Montreal climbing right back a little bit here. 27-19 after two periods of play. It's all good, though, because we have a 2-0 lead. So that's all we need, man. All we need now is to play some solid defense. Maybe get a third one. Maybe make it a 3 nothing lead because we do have a 76 overall goaltender in there. And inevitably, they're going to start being a little bit more aggressive here offensively. So, you know, we got to do what we got to do to make sure that we can do and keep the puck, man. Keep the, not the puck, but the lead. Actually, if we kept the puck the whole game, that would, that would help us win. Let's go. We're going to go around the boards to Krabs. Oh, look at your boy. Look at your boy. Boom. Yes, sir. Oh, no. Bad pass. Bad pass. I was covered. I was absolutely covered. We're going to get this puck. Going to get around this nerd. Going to go with the one-timer. It goes wider than net. Oh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Stop it. Go around. Use. Shield the puck. Yo, up to the right side. We can't do it. We're trying to set up my teammates for one time. Payton, if he got the puck on the net, yo, on the first attempt, that would have been fine. That puck got right through me. Thank God that he whiffed on a one-timer. Another one-timer. This one stopped by Ferguson. All right, I'm starting to like this kid. I'm starting to actually like this kid. Hopefully he can grow, though. He stayed at 76. He was a 76 last year. Oh, wait. Did Ferguson start at like a 72 or 73? I'm going to have to go back and see. I think he might have started at a 73. If that's the case, then he grew. He grew to a 76. He didn't do shit in the offseason. I guess he was just laying the fuck back. If he could just turn into a decent goalie, man, that's all we need, really. Cam Talbot has proved that last season. All we need is a decent goaltender, and we're going to be just fine. Let's go up the ice. Boom. We have a chance to win big Stanley Cups. Yo, yo, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get right by him and then turn it over. Not what we needed at all. That was a bad play by you, boy. Not going to lie. I am not going to lie, but we are still back on defense because Selkie Trophy winner. Now we can say that. We don't have to say nominee anymore. We are a Selkie Trophy winner. Let's go. Could not pass it to 
fucking crabs. God damn it. Skate your ass back. We need to be the first man back checking at all times, if possible, here as a Selkie Trophy <clears throat> winner. That's right, and the game finally gave it to us, man. I am so hyped for that. Let's go. I've been wanting that trophy, man. Last year, I wanted it really bad, but I was a winger, so it was, wasn't going to happen. Ferguson is having trouble with that shot. It's a little bit of a clusterfuck right now in the defensive zone. We just need to intercept the pass or have Ferguson st stop and hold on to a puck. That's going to be tipped. Yes, let's go. There's 245 left in the game. So all we need right now is to just have one good shift. We are playing for our goaltender at this point. That's just what it is. Uh, we need to, you know, not pressure that guy too much. There you go. Just drive him wide. That is fine with me. I am out here. I tried to block that shot, but I didn't want to. I didn't want an animation. I didn't think an animation would help me. Clearly, it would have though. Or clearly, just standing there did not help. Basically, is what happened. But I think that's going to be the end of our shift, which coincides with the end of the game because that's definitely our last shift. Yes, sir. No more time on the clock. And the Buffalo Sabers start the season off with a huge dub, bud. That is right. Oh, it is his first NHL start. Dylan Ferguson with his first NHL start and he gets a shutout? Fuck yes. I hope that's not a glitch and that's an actual thing and Doc Emmerich did not just spew a whole bunch of bullshit out of his mouth. Oh, that went five hole on... Ooh, ooh. I went five hole on Steve Mason. Yeah, yeah, bud. But yeah, man. Ferguson, huge. Huge night. Yo, do we have a potential good goaltender here? When Ferguson finally gets up to like an 80 or 82, man, he, he could be something. He could be something. Maybe he has, he has a unique blend of attributes that allow him to stop pucks at a not a 90 overall, man. And there are goaltenders like that. That ain't no joke, man. There are goalies like that. But that was a huge game for him, man. And that was a huge game for the Buffalo Sabres. Like I said, huge dubs. Two nothing dubs. We had two points. We had three hits. Solid start. No penalty. I like it, man. It's going to be another season. We are not going to play as many games, obviously, because now the question is, can we repeat? So there's not going to be that many episodes on the regular season, but there will be a few for sure. But that's going to be the end of this episode, though, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hook your boy up and punch the like button in the face. Spend the hell out of a comma and subscribe. I'm G20, man. As always, I love you guys, and I'm out this bitch. Peace.